Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 48th episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers titled Plague of the Mantis. We start this episode at the Youth Center where Trini is practicing Kata with her generic karate teacher. After they're done, Trini wipes literally no sweat off of her face with a towel, and her master asks her what they honor in Kung Fu. Apparently, it's a fair fight. Always face your opponent in equal numbers. In order to keep her thinking about Kung Fu, he gives her a praying mantis in a box to watch and imitate. He then just seems to just shove it into her bag without consent. Hulk and Skull are watching from the bar and they make fun of Trini for studying martial arts based off of a bug. But then they realize that they can just make up a kata and charge people to learn it. And of course, Bulk ends up with a milkshake in his face. Rita is watching Trini and she tells Fencer that she needs a monster to compete against Trini. A mantis monster. Things are really going south up there on the moon. Back at the youth center, Zack, Billy, Jason, and Kim are all watching on as Trini continues to practice, and I admire that she's such a hard worker. Then Trini messes up again, and her master tells her to keep practicing, handing her the mantis. Trini brings it over to her friends, and we get a surprisingly nice reaction from Zack, who still hates bugs. Consistency! Then Jason asks Trini why she decided to learn this new style to begin with, and Trini says that because it's all about being fair and never cheating, it's a great challenge to live up to which makes it sound like every single moment of every single day, Trini is fighting the urge to cheat in literally everything in her life. Then Bulk and Skull show up, dressed mildly as cockroaches. Yeah, that's their shtick this week. The two then proceed to try to do karate around the teens and it ends up with the five just getting up and leaving. Savage. At the command center, Alpha sees that there's an unidentified energy source that's landed in the park and Zoran says that Trini is nearby, so he'll have her investigate. Cut to Trini practicing Kung Fu once more in the park when she gets a call from Zordon, and she says that she'll go check it out. Then she sees the monster off screen, and she tells Zordon to alert the other rangers. She doesn't even get to say it's morphin' time though, she just morphs. Then we get a weird editing moment here where the yellow ranger is just back flipping through the forest before she's taken off guard by the monster. Then they fight a little bit before the four other rangers show up to help Trini and the monster tells her to shove it because she has friends so she has no honor. And Trini believes this for some reason saying that she is afraid. Of what? At the command center, Trini beats herself up for not fighting the monster alone, and Alpha lets the rangers know that the monster knows Mantis Kung Fu, and Trini promises to be ready for the monster after some more practice. And then Jason says, they'll nail that monster together. Man, sometimes they give Jason like the most awkward dialogue. A magic note appears in the juice bar in front of Ernie, and he gives it to Trini, who reads it and says that she's gotta go and leaves. We also see Bulk and Skull trying to mimic the cockroaches again, and we get an awesome bit where Skull mimics the dead ones. Trini has come to the quarry to meet her master, apparently, and the monster appears, who taunts her for having no honor. Trini accepts his challenge while the four other rangers show up at the juice bar looking for Trini and Ernie shows them the note. They automatically know that this shit is a trap and they go after Trini. How is arguably one of the most intelligent people in this group dumb enough to fall for this? Yellow and the Mantis fight a decent fight in the quarry. The other rangers show up and they get ambushed by putties. Yellow and the Mantis continue to fight and it's pretty damn obvious that the Yellow is fighting in tiger style not Mantis Kung Fu. Then more putties show up and they swarm Trini and she asks where his honor is and he says I have no honor like you said I want to read his monsters. I mean fair enough. Trini gets the upper hand briefly before we cut back to the other four rangers fighting their own squad of putties. So much fighting in this episode it's great. Zoran lets them know that Trini's in danger and the other rangers just morph to her. Screw those putties they were fighting on their own, I guess. Then Rita makes Mantis grow big because of course she does. The Rangers call their Zords and bring them together as a Megazord. The giant robot and the giant bug fight very little before the Rangers say, screw this, and they call the Power Sword and they just kill the monster. At the command center, Zoran congratulates the Rangers on their win and Trini on being a fair fighter. Then at the command center, Trini practices with her master again, now doing excellently. Of course, this episode can't just end on a good note though, because Bulk and Skull are soliciting people to sign up for their cockroach Kung Fu, and the two demonstrate it, and they end up hurting each other and releasing cockroaches onto themselves. The end. This episode is probably, honestly, the best Trini episode we're gonna get. It actually gives Trini a purpose in this story, and it really shows what Trini values. Fairness in a fight, and being an honorable human being. I feel like Trini used to be better in a fight than Billy, but even now, Billy has really started to show his prowess in putty fights. 
So with Trini now becoming the de facto less capable, it's actually heartwarming to see that she just really wants to be something more for the team. Also, there's like so much fighting on this episode, I love it. But now, let us say goodbye to the status quo once more as next time, things shake up once again. But until then, may the power protect you.